infections are on the rise once again after dipping when the coronavirus pandemic hit. Injection. But a new report shows fossil fuel levels have bounced back and are even higher than before COVID. Experts call it a panic button moment, an extreme spike in carbon in the environment higher than it's ever been. They say action has to happen now or the environmental impacts could be catastrophic. Fossil fuels are contributing to climate change more than ever, and carbon dioxide is the main reason why. Carbon dioxide levels result in drastic impact on our global climate, leading to more natural disasters, increase in global warming, and decrease in air quality. Fuel is such an intricate part of our society that we simply can't stop using it. However, to build a sustainable environment, we must turn to another source. Biofuels are those sources. Biofuels cut down on CO2 production substantially. Although there are biofuels on the market now, there are limited companies producing these fuels and even less producing second-generation biofuels. Second-generation biofuels are the ideal source since they are made from food waste. Of these, one of the best forms comes from oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are grown as a food source primarily in Ethiopia. However, those not consumed go through fermentation to be converted into bioethanol, which can fuel transportation. Unlike other second-generation biofuels, since it's pre-existing waste material, they do not require the use of farmland or additional agricultural resources, and they do not require pretreatment before fermentation. By adding cellulose, they can produce fuel. We want to provide a more sustainable and cheaper fuel option to the current market. Not only will this cut down CO2 per, uh, emissions, our product will also eliminate already existing biomass waste. Additionally, the waste product of the fuel itself can be used as an organic fertilizer that is significantly less harmful to the surrounding environment since it is not full of chemicals or pesticides. Our next step for our company is to become, begin bringing in funding and partnering with companies like Jivo to gain the technology to convert these mushrooms into bioethanol fuel, along with uh, building contracts with farmers to outsource their waste to produce a more efficient fuel.